Hello and welcome to the Zoom H4N DVD tutorial. My name is David Wells and my job over the course of this tutorial is to help you become an expert in all things to do with the H4N. First up, congratulations on your purchase of the H4N. What a phenomenal little recording studio right in the palm of your hand. I'm sure that you probably explored some of the more obvious things uh, that you can do with it, but I really got to tell you, you probably only scratched uh, the surface. That's where I come in. I just love to scour the manual and also undocumented features so that we can really, really discover together this is far more than just a pocket recorder. I mean, sure, it can record high quality stereo audio from its built in mics, but it is also a multi track recorder so that you can layer sound upon sound, track on track until a single person can record a professional sounding masterpiece complete with effects that can be burnt onto a CD or sold on iTunes. It's also the front end interface which allows you to record to popular audio editing programs on your computer, your Mac or PC. It even comes with a powerful application in the box, Cubase LE. It's also a smart card reader, a karaoke machine, phrase trainer, a tool to back up your old vinyl records and cassettes, a regular Swiss army knife of studio quality recording. But before we get too ahead of ourselves, we probably need to start off with a quick overview of the unit itself. The H4N is an extremely high quality recorder that records audio from its built-in two stereo mics which are positioned in the classic XY pattern to give you great separation on your stereo recordings. Now, it can also record from its two combo jacks at the bottom of the unit. They're special jacks that can take either a quarter inch line input, say like this guy for a, say a synth or a drum machine, maybe a high Z source like a guitar, or that same connector can bring in a balanced XLR cable like this one so you can record from high quality microphones including studio condensers like this one that require phantom power. More on phantom power later. Now H4N records using smart media cards that just slot in the side right here up to a whopping 32 gigabytes which would give you about two days of CD quality recordings. Now on the back it has a built-in speaker along with battery power. Now, if you want to conserve power, you can plug in an AC adapter right on the bottom here. Now, recording is just as easy as selecting the input, hitting record, setting your levels using the buttons along the side, and then hitting record again to begin recording. But most of the goodies that aren't so obvious are underneath the menu button on the right hand side of the unit. Simply press the menu button and then you can scroll through the options using the scroll wheel. Pressing the menu button on the right hand side will toggle you between the main recording screen and these menu screens here. Now once you're down in the screen you can scroll up and down the selections by turning the dial on the right hand side. Now once you select one of these settings you can go down into say the record menu by pressing that same dial and then you can go down even further. Now if you happen to see any of these selections that have an arrow to the right that means there's further settings that you can go down into so I could press the dial and go down into the auto record screens if you like. Now to move back out of these menus just press the menu button to scoot back out one menu at a time until you finally get back out into the main screen. Now a shortcut to moving out one screen at a time is to hold the menu down, uh, menu button down for more than two seconds. Let me go back down to where we were, uh, record, uh, auto record, here's where we were. If I hold down menu for more than two seconds that will get me straight back out to the main screen.